All right, let's bring Jeff back in. Uh, so that break was just so great to have today. Oh. What the timeline for for the next storm coming in tomorrow morning? That's right, and then uh, we'll see another storm system on Saturday, and then another one after that. But it does look like there is certainly some hope coming in that seven-day forecast for us. So let's move it into that microclimate weather and look at these 15-day rain totals. This is from eight different storms that have pretty much been back to back. Kent field up to 8.6 18.62 inches Danville 15.67 San Francisco over 15 inches Redwood City over 11 South Bay ranging 3 to 11 inches so this has been two to three times our monthly January rain coming in about two weeks and just in case you missed our earlier update I had to get this in here again we have seen massive improvements in the drought because of those storms we've had over the past couple of weeks uh, look we know there is so much severe damage out there. The storms have turned deadly, uh, but we did want to report on also the improvements of that rainfall. And you can see December 26 before the storm started 35.49% of California was in that red color and that deepest red color. That's extreme and exceptional drought and look at it today that has been wiped out. Now we're still under a drought. There's the threat we could always go back into it. But we have made some huge gains on that and there's more rain coming. So the way we see it right now, tomorrow is going to be our ninth storm we've seen in the series of storms. Saturday would be the 10th and next Monday is the 11th. Now, ordinarily, um, you know, while these storms are going to bring some heavier rainfall, they wouldn't bring the impacts we're still going to be monitoring for like landslide potential flood concern. Uh, but it's just because the ground is so saturated. We still have to watch out for stuff and stay on alert uh, next couple of days. You can see through tomorrow morning we get some rain starting up near the North Bay and the coast. I do see us getting some of that uh, heavier rain developing uh, up into the North Bay by seven o'clock in the morning and then we'll just see these waves of rain move in as we head uh, right into the afternoon. Eventually by tomorrow night that will start to push on out of here. So rainfall totals with this one anywhere from uh, three quarters to one and a quarter inches up for the North Bay and about uh, three quarters and less from San Francisco down there to the South Bay. We will see some winds 20 to about 50 miles per hour for the mountains. I think lower elevations are 15 to 30 as we roll through tomorrow's forecast. So we still got to watch out for some winds that may take down some trees and also bring us power outages. Let's spend some time on the seven day forecast because of course so much is happening after we get over that storm system tomorrow. There's another one on Saturday. That's that 10th storm a half to one and a half inches. Looks like most of that's going to be coming in the morning. We'll have a spotty thunderstorm chance on Sunday by Monday. The 11th storm and thankfully totals are going to be a lot less a quarter to a half inch. And here's the best news we can report Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Right now does not look to offer us any large storms. We'd get into some spotty showers by Wednesday and Thursday, but that's just about it. And we likely could see some drier conditions even as we look into the following weekend. So just what we need after all of this record setting rain. You can see temperatures will stay chilly here with a mix of 50s and 60s inland for highs and 40s and 50s for those lows. Now, as we get out of this rain we've been following, uh, February does show that we could see some strong storms develop.